Hello Internet, this has been doing something totally different than normal. This video really isn't intended for the whole world, but I figured as long as I'm making it, I might as well put it up on YouTube. So I'll just talk about what this video is, and then I'm going to talk as if I'm talking to the person who it's for. And if you're interested, then you can listen, and if you're not, then you cannot, and then everyone wins. So what's going on here is that I'm working with an artist. I did not draw this beautiful picture because I cannot draw, uh, but what I can do is trace. and. The, so this graphic is going to be for a game uh, that, maybe not this one specifically, but uh, I'm, I'm working with this artist to make wonderful graphics for uh, a game that I'm running, sorry it's hard to talk and do this at the same time, called Star Kindred, and it's a browser-based game, and I will put links in places where they matter. But we wa so I'm trying to do all the graphics vector based, and there's a few reasons, SVG specifically. Um, and the the main reason is that with vectors, you can, especially SVG, you can style everything um, using web stuff, right? So I can use like CSS. Um, I can animate things also with CSS, right? It's amazing. So I want, if possible, everything to be um, in SVG. The problem is, uh, I don't have much experience doing it this way, and the artist does not have much experience uh, doing it this way. So, I have worked with fireworks before to make um, to make graphics, uh, and and so that's what I'm using here is fireworks. Uh, she is using Illustrator, which same principles, um, and what. So I just kind of wanted to show her because I like I could explain this in text, but that's never going to work, right? I mean, this is a very visual thing, and I just wanted to show how I do the tracing. So let me talk a little bit about how I do the tracing because the idea is I don't want to do more work than I have to. So here's a great example. I have done the skin. So let me pick like a little skin color, and I realize that some of this is off camera. Sorry, um, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be a beautiful skin color. So here's some skin, right? Sorry, let me delete that. Um, so. And you may notice that, like, I went all over the place and did way more, you know, I went outside the lines a lot of the time, but I hope you'll see kind of what I did. Like, I tried to capture things, and then, really, I'm thinking this is a paper doll. The skin is going to be on the very bottom, and then on top of that, we're going to put everything else. So I'll go ahead and do the hair now, because I think that's going to kind of be the easiest, and at that point, I'll stop. Um... But, and, you know, I don't have to do it super precise, because, again, it's just to demonstrate, but, like, this is what has worked for me. So, like, I don't want to say, you know, you person. I don't know if I should be using names on the internet. She doesn't even know I'm doing this, so I'm just gonna somehow avoid it, even if it will be awkward. So, you wonderful artist person, I don't know what the best method is for you, and I'm not gonna try and tell you. And if someone else watching this is like, oh, this is a cool thing I would like to try, maybe this isn't the best method for you either, you know. But this is just one possible way. This is what has happened to work for me. Again, I can't draw. I would not say that I am a skilled artist person. I can draw a very specific type of graphic, and that is little pixelated stuff. Um, and the reason is because low-res graphics require less skill. Right? There's no, there's no denying that. So that is why that's my preferred medium. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, you might look at this and be like, oh gosh, she's doing this horribly wrong. I would do this instead of that. Great. Do all those things. Make your life easier. Um, because that's what, I mean, I'm making my life easier by doing things like going way outside the lines on the skin like I did before. Uh, so anyway, let us let me finish this up and then I will kind of show you the I idea here, I hope. Um, and again, I'm not going to do this whole graphic because really I just wanted to be able to say this is, you know, what's kind of worked for me, um, but it's really hard to do that in a uh, in text when you're talking about something that is so visual. Uh, so I don't know if you saw a little thing I did. Like if I draw a line, I'm like, oh no, that's no good. At least in fireworks, you can control Z to undo just that one point, and then you can just kind of keep going. So again, I don't know. I assume Illustrator is actually better in every way because it's m like a modern tool. Fireworks, um, to my understanding, is, is much older. Um, I mean, I know that they've been updating it, but like it was owned by Macromedia and then um, Adobe acquired it, and I'm sure Adobe would much rather people buy their own software, which they've been working on for years, which is Illustrator, but I don't honestly know, so maybe it's not that way at all. Um, I'm a little unclear as to what the hair is doing here, so me not 
being the person who made the art, I'm just going to make some crazy guesses. Um, oh, that's not quite right. Yeah, let's just that. Okay. Yeah. And this is another reason why it's not worth me doing this because I don't really know the intent um, that that she had when when she made this on what some of these lines are doing. And like, there's some things that are obvious, like right, like here's a little bend that looks like it's the inside of an elbow, but I'm pretty sure this is a metal part that goes on top, like over here. Or maybe I've misinterpreted something, right? And I'm sure that's just because she's sketching out stuff and changing her mind and all that kind of thing. I mean, that's what happens. Um, I think what has happened is that the lines underneath, um, the, the grayer lines were kind of like the rough draft initial idea, and then the hard lines on top are more the like, no, this is how it's actually going to be. But again, I don't really know because I didn't draw it. So anyway, this is good enough. I need to stop. I do enjoy doing this. It's kind of just like, you know, you just hey, let's give her blue hair. All right, so... And, and rearrange this. So I think hopefully you can see what's happened, right? So we have this paper doll underneath, and then I, I just layer on top. And this doesn't always work as well as I'd like, right? Like sometimes you do this and you realize, oh, actually, now I've got myself into weird places, especially with hair, because you have bits of hair that go in front, but other bits of hair that go in back. And so it can kind of be awkward no matter what way you do it. So it really is guesswork in a, in a lot of places. And I mean, I could do, I mean, you know, I might as well. So where was another place where we had some skin coming up, right? So on the sleeves here on the left, or over here, this metal bit, right? I mean, same idea. Oops, I'll just bring this in front. I, again, there's probably better ways to do that too, but, um, you know, just put the things in the front. So it, it really what I try to do, I think, is start from the back um, and again, treating it like a, a paper doll, essentially. And one of the reasons why I was trying so hard to keep um, all of the skin on one uh, object, I guess, right? Like, why not, you might ask, draw this little sliver of skin and keep that separate and then make this piece of skin and keep that separate and this piece of skin and keep it separate. And the main reason, honestly, that's more of a convenience for me. It doesn't really matter. Like if that's just so much easier for you, the artist, then, you know, God, just do that. Um, the reason why I'm doing it is I'm thinking about how I want to put this in the game. Like if I want to, um, let me hide it. All right. So now this is in front. Um, if I wanted to color these in SVG, and, that, and that's the point, like w one of the advantages of SVG is that we'll be able to make it so that the player can use this uh, this person, but color them whatever they want. Um, and we can do that by doing in CSS, we can say, oh, fill this vector, you know, that we've given the ID of body, or class of body, or whatever, um, you know, make it here, and I'll just go underneath again over here. So I'm not going to do this whole thing. In fact, I'll kind of cheat, but um, make this uh, part, you know, orange, and, and then we don't even need a color. Um, so here, we'll make this like a brown shirt or something. Um, anyway, so you can see how the shirt would go on top, and then really the shirt should go across the whole body, probably. Like if this is the same color over here, the what the right side, well, her left side, I don't know how to say that, right, of her chest, that would go underneath, and then we could put the straps on top of that, and then the, the belt, I'm not even going to look at the lines, we'll just pretend that it, you know, okay, then the belt is one of the very most top things, so that would be an even topper layer, and the belt, I don't know, is like a brown color, whatever, that looks ugly, I'm sorry, so, but this is the basic thing of how I would make these a vector, and for me, because I can't draw with my hands, it always comes out terrible, I start with the vectors. Um, my suspicion is that if you know how to art more traditionally, that you would start by drawing and trace over, kind of like I'm doing here with a vector. That adds another step, so to me that seems suboptimal, but again, I don't know how to draw with my hands, so I, I draw like this. Um, so I would say, ah, cut out that obnoxious first step of drawing on paper and, or whatever, or using your tablet or, or whatever but again I'm sure that that's what she's best at and I don't know for all I know Illustrator lets you draw out um, vectors like I can do a thing here where I draw out a thing and it turns it into a vector it kind of tries to simplify it a little too much I know there's a way to change that setting but I forget so you know I don't know maybe maybe there's a way you can do that to draw in vector immediately using a tablet I'm not sure um, fireworks happens to have the, this tool that lets you do it 
I also just love working with vectors because you can decide, oh, I want the line thicker. Like, I, again, because I can't draw well, I love vectors because it means that I can correct all my mistakes that I make all the time because I make those mistakes. Um, you can just be like, oh, no, I want this, you know, oh, I want it a little more over this way, or oh, I want it just a little more curvy, right? I can change all those things, so I love that. And that's how I, I also hope to accomplish animations. Like, if I know that all the hair vectors are, you know, if I can somehow identify like all these right facing hair vectors then maybe in the game we can do something where it just kind of animates them you know like they they blow in a little way like this like as you're playing like that's some other cool stuff you could do because they're vectors because we export to SVG um, so anyway I'm hoping to get some of that I think like animations that stuff comes even later um, really what we're hoping to do now assuming that that the vector stuff can be made to work for her um, would be to let players color. So like maybe you think blue hair is the silliest anime thing you can't stand it and you'd rather have beautiful blonde hair like Finn um, then you could do that or you know choose whatever color you want like give you palettes you know it would be really cool to let you design your characters uh, to that degree in a browser based game. Um, so and again if, if you have one object for the body that makes it real easy but I think honestly that's less important because um, you can give these IDs, like if I name this, it's a little off camera right now, but um, I don't know, let's just say the shirt, right? If I call this thing shirt, when I export to SVG, it has, I believe, an ID of shirt, um, but I'm sure we could change it to classes or whatever. Um, you know, maybe if I give two things shirt, then they both get shirt, and then we can export them, whatever. I mean, that's also stuff I can hand edit after the fact, so I'm not asking um, you, artist person, who I'm actually making this video for to worry about that stuff because I can go in after the fact and change those things because um, I and I don't even fully know you know to what degree I'm going to let people color things like you know if there's ten different characters and they're wearing such wildly different clothes that some of them would have like maybe they don't all have belts for example that's an easy example maybe only some of them have belts and so for this character we'd say yeah you don't get to choose the belt color the belt color is always brown but you can always choose, you know, everyone's got a shirt and pants and hair and skin and you can change those four things or something, you know, I, I mean, I just don't know, um, you know, and maybe we'd have like a detail one and detail two, it really just depends and, and I'm not fixed on that, so I wouldn't worry too much about trying to name these super logical things, but, you know, maybe hair and skin, those are kind of obvious enough, so if, if you wanted to bother, go for it, but again, I don't know, is it going to export to SVG as an as an ID or a class and those are different and they're important to me and maybe not to you and you wouldn't know and I'm not going to ask you to understand all those crazy things so anyway I think I've talked quite enough I hope this was interesting to anyone but the person I made it for because that would be great maybe you can have learned something here um, about how to make vector graphics and again maybe you're looking at this going no this is never going to work for me I can't possibly do it in this crazy way what is that guy even talking about and that's fair too do whatever works out for you again this is just what has happened to work for me the non-artist who can't draw with his hands so anyway um there you go I guess to everyone who you know thanks for watching um and again I'll post links to this game in the description although I should say it's in the very early stages and not necessarily um, the super funnest to play right now but if you want to check it out and give me feedback actually this is a great time to give feedback because I'm you know so much it's so early that there's a good opportunity anyway I'll stop rambling thank you again and goodbye